high Brent tech here where tech is made simple. So if you are using Explorer Patcher, you may know, and as we have spoken about on the channel previously, Microsoft started blocking apps like Explorer Patcher and other third-party customization apps in April of last year, 2024, when 24H2 was being tested in the Insider program. But the block stayed for Explorer Patcher even after the official release of 24H2 rolled out to the general public last year back in October of 2024. Now, just to let you know that if you are using Explorer Patcher, that it's just got quite a big update where the latest update adds full support for Windows 11 24H2, as mentioned, which was previously blocking Explorer Patcher, as mentioned, which was previously blocking customization apps and tools like Explorer Patcher. Now, if we head over to GitHub, here's the latest version. 2261.5335.68.2. So that's the latest. And yeah, if we scroll down to the so called change log, yeah, we can see a couple of important bits of information. Now, the upgrade block has now been bypassed because the developer has tweaked how the app handles the desktop window manager, which is quite an important um, part of Windows. More specifically, the developer has renamed epdwm.exe to epdwmsvc.exe to get around 24H2 upgrade blocks. So that's the important bit to this app update, which obviously avoids the compatibility check that caused problems. So I just want to let you guys know about that because obviously I know this was affecting some of you who were using Explorer Patcher and wanted to use it on 24H2 where previously it was blocked. And some other notable changes um, in this latest version is that it's disabled rounded corners because obviously Windows 11 24H2 um, and even Windows 11, the rounded corners aren't for everybody. So you've got a, a setting for that. And it also fixes the app's simple Windows switcher, SWS, as the developer calls it, which is an alternative to Windows built-in Alt-Tab interface. And according to the developer, it was underlying code issues that caused most of these bugs. So I'll leave this GitHub page down below in the description where you can come and get the latest version, as mentioned, and... Yeah, is where you can download that explorerpatcher.exe. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.